you could be sure to address them to him and go along with him. He'll be here, Wayne. He always comes out all right. I hope so. Well, it wasn't exactly a picnic, but I got what I went after. Now, come on, let's get back to the line. Lieutenant Adams. Yes, sir. Has Hickok returned yet? Not yet, sir. Well, I'm sure he'll make it all right. Something strange about the way they stopped that attack last night. I don't like it. You look tired, sir. You ought to get some rest. Yeah. When Hickok returns, have him report at once. Very good, sir. Halt! Who goes there? What's the matter with you, Dugan? Don't you recognize Wild Bill Hickok and Steve Norris? Not forgetting the brave and unconquerable Whiny Roberts? Let us pass. All right, Hickok. And General Whiny. That's more like it. What this army needs is more discipline and respect for its heroes. Come on, men. Why don't you shave? Pick up. General Grant wants to see you right away. Very good, sir. Don't worry, boys. We'll split all the medals three ways. Here's Hickok now, sir. What have you got to report, Hickok? Things look bad, sir. They outnumber us ten to one. They're expecting two more regiments tonight. But I have a rough report of their position here, sir. Get some rest, Bill. Thank you, sir. Adams, they're planning to attack. And if they do, I hate to think of the consequences. And just when we had victory and the end of the war in sight. You know, Adams, when I was at West Point, Bob Lee was at the top of our class. And I was at the bottom. <laughs> I guess I belong there, all right. <laughs> Your career hasn't proven that, sir. I was a hopeless scholar, Adams. But one thing they succeeded in hammering into my thick head, the greatest kind of defense is attack. Attack! And that one lesson has carried me through many a tight place. Adams, look. Bill Hickok has practically pointed out the only chance we have. Call him back. What's that? He... Call him back. There's no time to waste. Very good, sir. Why don't you get into fresh clothes, Bill? Oh, I think I'll stay in these a while longer. You always take your sister's picture along with you? You bet. Mary Ann's always meant good luck. Hey, Nate, but there's something in that. We do get out alive. Hey, when this war is over, you're sure going to meet Mary Ann. Because I'm giving one of the biggest parties you ever attended. Parties? <laughs> Me and Bill don't go to parties. Well, you'll come to this one if I have to drag the both of you there. And wait till you meet those girls from Maryland. Thing is, about the time he is. <laughs> what do you mean? It's the middle of the afternoon. Just the right time for my mid-afternoon snack. <laughs> Besides, us scouts deserve special consideration. Now, what did the Army do without us? We didn't do any scouting. We just waited in the brush for Bill to come back. Well, it was danger in it, wasn't it? 
Sure there was. Mm. Bill. Now listen, I wouldn't talk too loud about my leaving you fellas and going it alone. You might get us all in trouble. Well, I was willing to go all right. Mm. It was uh, Steve here that got a little, uh, little bit jumpy. Oh, forget it. You're all right, Steve. Anybody get nervous when those guns start shooting? Eddie, pick up. The general wishes to see you again. You don't suppose he wants us to go out again? I don't know, Steve. I'll tell you more when I get back. No privacy. A fella can't even undress without having armies of people barging in and out. Can't eat when you're hungry. No pretty medals. And I'll sure be glad when I get out of all this. Oh, quit grumbling, Marnie. Maybe someday they'll give you commission. Commission? I'll stick to a straight salary. Here you go, sir. You rather expected I'd call you again, didn't you, Bill? Well, yes, sir, I did. Look, here's their only weak point. Now, if we can get these orders through to General Sheridan before sundown, we can make a joint attack and possibly end the war. Do you think you and your men can get through the lines again? My chances would be better if I went it alone this time, sir. Have it your own way, Bill. Good luck. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Saddle up, Whiny. We're leaving. Where to? Cross the lines again. Good. Do we wear these clothes, Bill? No, Steve. This time I'm going alone. Good luck. Steve, do you mind if I take this along for luck? Not at all. Thanks. If we can only delay their attack. Hickok was right. Wonder where he'll make his break. I'd say the western flank, sir. That looks like one of our men coming through the Union lines. Well, that's funny. They're waving at us. Come on.
ran away, and yet we want to hear some more of your thrilling experience. Nothing really. Anybody could have done the same thing. Oh, don't say that, but I've heard so much from Mary Ann. You say Mary Ann? Mm -hmm. Why, well, I haven't even met her yet. You haven't? Well, I am. Uh, Hickok, how would you like to take a stroll around the garden? Well, I think I'd better go look for Mary Ann. I... Oh, she's dancing. I'll find her for you. You know, my first cousin was a man just like you, fearless. He thought nothing of marching bravely into a den of tigers. Did you say he would or he did? Would? What'd you say? Look, there he is now. There who is? I don't see. Oh, come here, boy. Yes, sir. Uh, turn around. <laughs> Do you know my friend Warney? He's a little fellow with a beard, and he looks like a cross between a fox terrier and a jackrabbit. Well, now, I do and I don't. Oh. Uh... You, you know, I know who you're talking about. Well, give him that right away. Yes, sir. Mr. Hickok? Mr. Hickok? Mr. Hickok? Oh, I... I'm sorry. Excuse me, please. Why the hurry? <laughs> Running away from someone? Say, so you're Mary Ann. I mean, Miss Norris. And you're Wild Bill Hickok. Oh, Steve told me so much about you. Where have you been hiding all evening? Well, I, uh, say, do you, you know that you saved my life once and I never thanked you for it? Well, I don't know just how, but it was really nothing at all, I can assure you. <laughs> now, tell me how all this happened. All right. Look. Well, that's my picture. Where did you get it? I borrowed it on my last... Now look. That's where the bullet hit. You know where I carried it? Here. I hope Steve won't mind if it's all battered up like this. Oh, well, he has another. You can carry that if you want to. Oh, would... Uh... Well, just as a war memento, you know. Wow, well, Bill Hickok. I've been looking all over for you. Where have you been? Oh, you, you two have met already. Oh, say, Bill, I, I want you to meet a friend of mine, Mort Bennett, a fellow I'm going in business with. How are you, Bennett? I've heard a lot of great and exciting things about you. Oh, you mustn't listen to anything Steve says. He has a fine imagination. <laughs> Everything I said was true. Oh, well, pardon me. This is my dad. Fine fellow, Bennett. What's the business you're talking about? Oh, wait till you hear it, Bill. It's a chance to make a fortune. We're going west to Milton. We're leaving next week. Steve's taking me with him. Well, come on, tell me all about it. What kind of business? Cattle? No, the Santa Fe has extended a line to Melbourne. Yeah, I, I think I read something about that. And all the cattle coming in from the south have to be driven overland to that point. What do you know about the cattle business? <laughs> well, nothing. Bennett's up on that end of it. And we're starting a commission business from there to handle the eastern shipments. Jack Rabbit, I'm here. I've long hair. Push this off, run. You sure is him. You is him, all right. <laughs> uh, what's so funny? Uh, uh, nothing. A uh, gentleman, give me this note to give to you. You better read it. Yes, sir. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, what does it say? There it is. Sure is. Go on, read it. Now, I ain't so good on reading today myself, son. You mean to stand there and tell me you can't read? Well, I can read reading, but I can't read writing. Oh, 
Pardon me, lady. But I'll all the evidence. Who are you and what do you want? Uh, I'm uh, Mr. Whitney. Would you mind reading this note? Out loud. If I don't join you in five minutes, find me and hand me this note and say that I must leave immediately, Bill. Yeah. Thank you. See, that's what I thought it said. Me too. Well, how does it sound to you, Bill? Sounds great. What with all the foreigners coming in, the country's growing by leaps and bounds. That's just it. And they must depend upon Western and Texas cattle for their meat supply. I'm all excited over it. Here's the little surprise I've been saving for you. We want you to come in with us on the deal. Oh, not now, but don't worry. I'll be showing up out there one of these days. So, fine. Yes, do. It is, Bill. It's important. Yes. Hey, it's important. You, you gotta leave right away. Finally, we're going out west to Milton. Bill said he might be out there. I suppose, naturally, you'll be along. Uh, Milton? He spoke about going a lot of places, but never there. So all of a sudden, it's Milton. Yeah. I can't understand it. I mean, five times as many. What are we going to do about the orders, Mort? Well, no. It was mostly picked up from local ranches. I wonder what's happened to those southern herds. Over 20,000 head over to you right now. Here's Harrington, 1,700. The cattle from the south? Parish, 900. Utley, 1,500. Do you suppose they should those cattle from some other place along the line? Well, that's a foolish question. You know, we've already checked and thought they haven't. Well, but something's happening. We know the cattle has started, and yet they never arrived. Now, how do you account for that? Well, how should I know? We lost two law officers trying to find that out. Steve, do you realize that we haven't had a ship over a month? I know, I know. And if this keeps up, we might go out of business. Oh, Susanna, oh, don't you cry for me. With my banjo on my knee. Oh, Susanna, oh, don't you cry for me. Or I'm going to Louisiana with my banjo on my knee. We should be getting pretty close to Kansas by now, shouldn't we, Bill? We'll be in tomorrow. Well, what I can't understand is why the sudden urge for Kansas. Or are you holding something out on me? Anyway, you're up to something. As much as you like the ladies, you wouldn't be striking out for chance to see one. If I don't tell you, you'll be whining from now on. And if I do tell you, you'll at least have something to whine about. I knew it. I knew it. Or trouble. And wherever you find trouble, you'll find Wild Bill Hickok. Come on, what is it? Cattle trouble. Thousands ahead have been disappearing. Men, too. Well, what's that to do with us? Remember Roy Avery? He went to Milton as marshal, and he disappeared. Remember Hank Stilton? Yep. He went for Avery, and he's never been heard of since. Oh, so we're the new marshal. <laughs> well, I'll see that we don't disappear. Thanks. Well, I'm going down to the river to wash up. Now, you be sure you have the grub ready when I get... Yeah, boy. Hey, Fawson, how much longer do you figure we'll be here? That's up to the boss. Hey, who is the boss? When do we get a peek at him? You're hired to take orders, Crandall. My orders. So don't get too ambitious. Crandall better look out. Folsom's too tough to fool around with. Yeah, he seems pretty tough, but who is he? One shot Folsom. He never misses. He's wanted in Missouri for plenty of shooting scrapes. 
Oh, yeah, I've heard of him. Hey, by the way, fella, this toll gate is sure some idea of the bosses. But if I so close to Milton, he's got his reasons. Why even bother to keep it up? That's simple. All the Texas cattle have to come to this point. Yeah, but nobody ever pays off. Well, if it wasn't with this toll charge, how do you expect it hadn't take those herds through the North Pass? Once they get up there, he can bottle them up. See they don't lose a steer and make sure he leaves no witnesses. Hey, fellas, looks like customers. Mister, and anyone driving cattle across them costs them ten dollars a head. I can't do that. I only make twenty when I sell them. Well, that's how it is. Of course, you can go around by the North Pass. North Pass? It's highway robbery, and I won't pay it. All right, boys, take them around by the North Pass. That's all right with me. in there. Yeah. Well, they'll do it every time. Say, I thought there for a minute he was really going to pay up. Yeah, what have you done if he had? Same thing. Only we can handle him better in the North Pass. Come on, boys, let's get going.
That bunch of Jessup's 2X makes about all we can handle, boss. I'll get you some more men. Heard there was a new marshal headed this way. Liable to show up any day now. Marshals don't find it very healthy around Milton, do they, boss? <laughs> no, I'll say they don't. <laughs> well, just the same, I think it'd be a good idea to ship all these cattle we've rounded up. Not yet. Not till I get my price. Well, from what I can hear, it won't be long either. Now, you know what I'm asking. Pretty nice cut for all the day, Folsom. <laughs> yeah, we should have about 50,000 head by now. Yeah, it's worth taking a chance for. We'll report to you in a few days, boss. Jessup. Jessup? Well, looks like old man Jessup's had a little trouble. Late, Winey. Don't get too far away from home, honey. This town's getting worse every day. Why don't you fellas do something about it? <laughs> Why are you still Yeah. Steve, how are you? What are you doing out here? Why, you came to see me, didn't you, Bill? Why, I certainly did, Mary Ann. <laughs> Come on over and sit down. Well, how are all the big businessmen progressing? Oh, Steve's <clears throat> worried, but things will work out all right. Well, what seems to be the trouble? Eh, we can't get cattle. Why not? We don't know. These letters state that plenty of cattle have been started in the last month, but none ever arrived. Send out any scouts along the road? Yes, but they don't come back. We should have had 20,000 head in this month. There is Harrington, Lee, Parrish, Jessup, all big cattlemen. Their shipment should have been here. Did you say Jessup? Well, yeah, it's fine. Jessup won't be here. Is the 2X layout? Where did you find this? On the way coming in, we also found Jessup. You sure none of his cattle came through? Well then, wherever you find steers with the 2X brand, you're going to find the murderer of Jessup and probably a lot more. But, but how are they shipping these cattle, Bill? The railroad's denied picking up any. Did you ever stop to consider with beef held up, the market might skyrocket? And some real smart fellow might think of a way of holding back his cattle until he was ready to unload? Well, that's been suggested already. But where is he keeping them? We don't know. But something certainly should be done about it. I understand they're sending out another deputy marshal. <laughs> you, you know how long he'll last, if he ever arrives. He has arrived. Well, now we'll get some action. Did you hear that, boy? Good. <laughs> you can count on us for complete cooperation. Thanks. I'll probably be calling on you, but right now I wish that you'd both keep my arrival quiet. Oh, don't you worry about that. Say, how are you going to work on this, Hickok? I don't know yet. First, I think I'll go out after that 2X cattle. Way, have you got a record of all the brands you were expecting? Well, yes. Where are they, Mark? Up here. Are you sticking around? No, but I'll be back later. Fine. Oh, wait a minute, Mark. I want to check on those shipping reports. We'll only be gone a few minutes, Bill. Wait, will you? Well, we got to get settled, but I'll see you later. Good. Can't you stay and talk a while? Oh, not right now, Marianne. I've got some work to do. I think maybe we could arrange to be over at your house about supper time. Oh, I'd be happy to have you. <laughs> Always hungry. Well, goodbye, Marianne. Goodbye. Bill, if this town is so tough, there must be a saloon. And uh, where there's a saloon, there must be a drink, eh? Yeah, and? Well, I thought it might not be a bad idea to... Take a look and see what it's all about. You certainly do think of things, Wiley. Now, where do you think we're headed? I don't know where. The Castle Bar.
20. You think that shot was meant for me? It couldn't be meant for me. I never hurt anybody. We just landed. Ah, come on, let's get that drink. Drop everything and head for the quail. The boss wants that herd branded right away. Now, uh, what about the toll? Forget that. There's a new marshal in town, Wild Bill Hickok. Wild Bill? Here? Yeah, do you know him? No, but I've heard plenty about him. Well, get going. The boss wants those shipped right away. They sure picked the perfect setting for their raids. Sure did. Whining, I think if we follow this trail, we'll find the reason why no Texas cattle's been coming through. Come on, hurry up with that, Brandon. We haven't much time. We're doing it as fast as we can. begging for me. Well, maybe this is the reason. Shall we step into them? No, not yet, Wiley. I, I want to see some of those brands first. How are you going to do that? Well, I'll get to the other side. Slip down behind the herd. No, no, you wait here. I'll go alone.
was Hickok, all right. Now we can look for a posse to crash down on us any minute. Yeah, but only half the cattle are branded. Makes no difference. We better report to the boss. That herd's got to be moved and moved fast. You keep firing. I'll circle around among the rocks. You see, I mistook you for someone else. When you started shooting, well, naturally, I had to do something to stop you. You shouldn't be riding alone in this part of the country. Well, I like that. This is all Steve's land. That doesn't make any difference. Did you say Steve's land? Why, yes. He bought all the land for miles around. Have you been all through it? No. No, he's asked me never to go beyond that path. I see. Why? Oh, nothing. Let's get back to town. Now uh, here, we won't play with this anymore today. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss Marianne, I sure thought you was a bandit. That's just what I thought you were. I told you to take a shave. Uh, come on, girl. Nobody here. Well, we'll wait. Those cattle have to be shipped right away. Say, you reckon the boss would get riled if we shipped him without changing them brands? What if he does? If he don't get rid of that herd pretty quick, Hickok will grab all of us. Yeah, and then we'll have no cattle to sell. Yeah, we should have unloaded before that Jessup raid. Him holding out for his price is liable to put us all in jail. I'm like not a here first chance I get. Hickok finding them cattle sure must things up for us. Let's go get a drink and go back later. All right, put him up. Get over there. Turn around. Now, where have you got those cattle hidden? You'd be surprised. What do you mean? They're in back of the North Pass. Well, that's my land. That's right. I told you you'd be surprised. That makes you one of us. Maybe you better holster that gun. Not yet. Go 
Go get a doctor, Wiley. Get some water. Give me a pillow. Is it bad, Bill? We'll know more when the doctor arrives. Many of these guns were never fired, and neither was Steve's. It looks as if Steve had three men covered when something happened. Well, if these are their guns, uh, who shot Steve? <clears throat> oh, I can't believe it, Bill. Steve had no enemies. Maybe it wasn't an enemy, but a better friend to the owners of these. Will he live, Doctor? Couldn't we take him home? Well, I wouldn't risk it. Isn't there some place here? Yes, there's a small bedroom back there. Would you mind carrying him in the other room? Yes, sir. What do you know about this? Mr. Jones doesn't hear very well. Besides, he's been a friend of ours for years. Who's doing all the shooting? Me. I just wanted to find out whether all that D stuff was being put on. Hey, Bill. I just saw the toughest looking man I ever saw in my life peeking that window. You're looking in the mirror. I heard gunfire. What happened? I was just testing out the bookkeeper's hearing. Uh, Steve's been shot. By whom? We can do nothing but wait. He may remain unconscious for hours. Will we be able to talk then? Oh, we'll see. Someone shot Steve. Have you any idea who it was? I found three unfired guns on the floor. Now, Steve must have had their owners covered and disarmed them. But if Steve had their guns, who shot him? Someone else must have come in. 
When Steve comes to, he'll tell us who it was. Can you throw any light on this, Bennett? Well, I, I knew that Steve had been running around with some pretty tough characters lately, and I found that... Well, I found that... What else did you find out? Well, I found some papers. Cattle reports. Does it have anything to do with the Russell cattle in the North Valley? Yes. Is there any other commission house shipping cattle now besides yours? No, without cattle, they've all had to go out of business. We'll have to, too. Well, don't tell Marianne anything about this. Let Steve explain it all when he regains consciousness. Won't be for hours, but it'll wait. Come on, Winey. Our friend's about to introduce us to the boss. side of that bridge. I'm going over and see what it is. You stay here and keep your eyes peeled. Got him this time, boss. We won't have any more trouble from him. You don't suppose he had a chance to talk, do you? No, Doc Lawrence said he wouldn't come through for hours. If at all. Well, then we can ship those cattle now. Sure we can, without trouble, with Norris out of the way. You're forgetting about Hickok, aren't you? We'll take care of him when the time comes. Like the present, Bennett. your gun over there, Folsom. Well, you're smarter than I thought, Hickok. Where did I slip up? You made three mistakes, Bennett. Yeah? Well, what are they? First, your orders to get me went out too soon. I'd only been in town a half an hour. And you and Steve were the only ones who knew it. It might have been Steve. Oh, no, I know Steve Norris. We were in the army together. Second, your attempt to throw suspicion on him. It still could have been he. I tell you, I know him. Yeah? And the third? The third? I knew that whoever wanted Steve Norris out of the way would come back and try and finish the job. Your friend here failed. He only shot a dummy. I sent no one. Give me those papers. I might need them. 
You pick him up. have been rounded up and the cattle will return to the rightful owners, I suppose you're in for a good bit of business again, Steve. Well, I hope so. Say, Bill, why don't you stick around and be my partner? Maybe you will. Isn't it about time for your medicine? Oh, yes. Oh, wait a minute. Take it easy. I'll get it for you. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> don't you ever look where you're going. You're always crashing into me. Hey, Bill. How do you feel, Steve? Oh, fine, Whiny. Bill, I got good news for you. What is it? We just got orders to go to Twin City. Plenty of trouble there. Oh, Steve, I'm afraid that partnership will have to wait. It's all right, Bill. I understand. Good luck. Good luck to you. Well, goodbye, Marianne. I hope to have the pleasure of... Bumping into you again sometime. Goodbye, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> 